Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to the Virtual Black Senior Fitness Fair brought to you by Silver Fox Elite Fitness. I am Jessica McCready, your host for the question and answer portion, where we go one-on-one -on -one with specialists and professionals of all sorts to discuss things senior and fitness. First up, I'll be speaking with Mr. Nicholas Savage, Performance Director, Producer, and Digital Inclusion Director for Community Partners of South Florida. Good morning, Mr. Savage. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jessica. How's everything going? Things are going well. Thank you so okay. much for joining in. Well, thanks for having me. I'm looking really, forward to this. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. And I just want to know a little bit about you. We've already prepped the, we've already prepped our viewers and they know a bit, but can we just hear some from you? Right. Uh, Jessica, as as many may not know, yeah, I'm originally from Baltimore, as we call it, B-more, where yeah. I'm from, right? Good old B-more. Uh, I was raised uh, believing heavily in education, uh, essentially since my parents were taken by Justice Marshall to desegregate the area right before Brown versus School Board. So a young Thurgood, I had a grandmother who was a kindergarten teacher, as we call it, kindergarten. <laughs> and my grandfather worked in the post office. My other grandfather worked on the shore, you know, down at the uh, waterfront in customs. And so what is that? My big core tenants are, I'm big on kids, family, and peace. In the words of one of my friends who uh, worked for Ralph Lauren. Uh, and uh, that was uh, Mr. Lauren's words, the designer kids, family, peace. So essentially from there, all my core tenants are uh, believing in IT, health care, uh, wellness, fitness, what was our core family tenant outside of education. It was athletics and awareness. So we really believe you better figure out where you are, who you are, and why you are. And then from there, try to, you know, pretty much focus on excellence in all those three areas. Understand your awareness, uh, try to kick butt in athletics, and kick butt in the classroom and in business. So that's me, uh, which basically leads me to where I am now, where I focused in on sports, business, uh, elite athletes, and just people trying to take them to the best version of themselves. Yes, what, what do you think it would take to get our seniors moving in the masses, to get them moving and shaking and working out in the masses. What do you, what do you think it'll take? Well, you know, it's like, what was the book Last of the Mohicans and the movie Last of the Mohicans? You gotta find the other Mohicans, you know, and go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. You know, I mean, basically there's so many isms. Let's not get into the ism world, but ageism is an ism. So don't let people define you on who you are. You know, find that tribe that thinks like you. Who, you know, don't don't let other people or other stereotypes type. I'm sorry, stereotypes define you yes. and tell you who you are. So the first thing you got to do is say, "I'm not old." Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to look at it in a different way. So the way I look at it, hey, I, I mean, basically, I woke up and said, <laughs> "Nick, wow." You're 60. <laughs> Whoa. You know, we can get into the black doesn't crack and all this other stuff. But the bottom line, you're like, oh, man, 60 was an impact to me personally. And I'm looking, you coach, you, you know, you eat too much, you're watching other people. And, you know, I'm doing the performance training with the elite guys. And they're like, that's the old guy. He can be a little <laughs> chunky and fat, you know, whatever. Right? Dad bod. Right? I was like, well, hold up. Is that who I am now? <laughs> and then so you got to check yourself, you know, back to that awareness thing, your grandparents and your parents teach you like, there's either look good or you don't look good. So you got to figure out what looks good for you yes. <laughs> and stop making those changes. And I said, okay, a gut is not a good thing. So, you know, and this is pre-COVID, right? But once COVID hit, you say, okay, the sugar, the salt, you got to let it go, you know? And that for me is the big jolt that I would tell, you know, my fellow seniors 
uh, don't look at yourself, first of all, as a senior. Look at yourself more like software. You know, when I had my 60th birthday, Jessica I said, this is 6.0. <laughs> right. 6.0, okay? When I'm 61, it'll be 6.1. Right. What's the target? 10.0, right? Yeah. So if you're going to keep having these releases of the new version of Jessica, Nick, Joanne, Tyrone, whatever the name is, you're going to have to redefine yourself to stay relevant to yourself and in the world. So you want to create that legacy for your family. And if you don't have family, create one, you know, simply put, uh, back to that premise. You got those family members you inherit, some you didn't ask for. <laughs> Never but that's a good thing with family. You can create new family and say, hey, I'll bring you in. I'm going to put you out. Let's, here's my family, right? right? And that's the secret sauce. You got to stay relevant and want to be here. I mean, that's huge. And then I'd say the other thing is, which kick-started me, was think big, but do small. You know, every platform I've been on is always think big. The work I'm doing with inclusion. You can come out with the big ideas, but at the end of the day, you got to show up and own the small tasks yes. so that you look down stream, right? And be driven about just completing small tasks and executing the small tasks. And then you'll look back and say, wow, that was done. Can you tell me some things that you do personally to stay in, for your fitness regimen and to stay pushing on so you can get to 6.1 and 6.2 and 10.0? How do you, what are some okay. things that you do personally? <laughs> Great question. Okay. When I was in the buggy version, that's with the, the Dunlap and the, wow, you know, you started to get a little double chin. I'm like, what's going on here? You know? <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we got to do something about this day. You know, so first thing is back to that think big, do small. Um, do a simple task. Six minutes. Convert knowledge to execution of being effective. So what does that mean? Okay, you might know uh, about the sugar. You might know about salt. My dad passed. That was what triggered me in all the business. He died of a stroke. Uh, with, with uh, as we know, with the black men, hey, and brown, you know, the, the four men of the apocalypse, you know, the cancer, the, you know, high blood pressure, um, all those things, you know, and heart disease and uh, diabetes, those are the big four. Even with COVID, that's, a, you know, that's another horseman that's added. But for the most part, most of us can't get past the first four. So I already knew I had to do something because of blood pressure in the family. So with that being said, you know, take your medicine. Uh, I'll be straight up. My dad didn't. He never had a pill. You know, he didn't take that little pill. Mm -hmm. He died at 47. So that puts you on a different mission. All right. Two, before you get into all the exercise, change your mindset so that you really focus on the journey, not on the destination. Because then that way you don't get so disappointed. We're so hard on ourselves. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. We're very hard on ourselves. So, so start with something that's achievable. And don't, I'm not a big uh, New Year's resolution person. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, people get so disappointed. They set up all this bucket list. They set up this, that. I, I, don't get me wrong. You should be in the goals. But as far as your training, um, start with the mindset set a theme so in january my theme was okay or, or actually it was november because i knew december was going to be rough you know all right people giving you alcohol <laughs> gifts and you know you're like oh man you know i'm not perfect you know I, you know great goose tastes good to me mm -hmm. um so with that being said start with a theme okay no sugar this month a little sugar as you can. Don't don't go big with it. Just no sugar. You know, that's eating protein bars. That's drinking water with some lemon in it. That's back to knowing yourself. And then 
six minute drills. So if I'm saying as a fitness person, high intensity, six minute drill. What seniors tend to do, and don't get me wrong, I've got bones because of the football I play and the track that I ran. I'm bone on bone on both knees, <laughs> shoulder jacked up. All my teammates are too. So you can still do it, but what do most seniors do? They take this walk, right? Yes. These long walks, right? See, here's the problem with the long walk. This is what you learn with track and field. That's an aerobic activity. You, the, 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 the longer you go, then you take this one mile walk. Two weeks later, your body's used to it. So, you know, okay, your body says, okay, Nick, Jessica, you want the same amount of effort out of me? Now you're going to have to walk a mile and a half <laughs> to get the same, you know, <laughs> intensity. And then uh, two weeks later, body says, I'm just in that too, all right? And now you got to go two miles. And then you got three miles. This is just to get the same level of same where you're at. And this is where people get very confused. I don't understand. I'm not eating that much food. I'm not putting in any caloric intake. And nothing's happening. Nothing's changing. Well, you're better off start with six minute drills. I go upstairs right on my porch top, you know, upstairs on the deck. Mm -hmm. ABC say, who's the crazy man up on the roof and doing high intensity drills for six minutes, 30 seconds of each drill, moving fast. And that includes your arms and your legs, step out lunges, explosive push-ups, whatever you can manage that is high intensity. And then you start with six minutes. That's think big to small. Then I expanded to 12 minute drills, you know, yeah, little, little dumbbells, you know, you're not on the bench anymore. And that's the other thing. Don't forget where you come from, but don't stay there. I play football with your bench in 300. That's what got my shoulder in trouble. Uh -huh. I, I don't need to lift 300 pounds anymore. My shoulder popped out training a pro guy and you know, like, okay, that was stupid, Nick. You know, all you need is where you are and develop based on your age. So that means dumbbells, band exercises, uh, get on your yoga mat, do yoga, keep your core strong. Mm -hmm. So then you move from six minute drills to 12 minute drills to 18 minute drills to 24 minute drills. Bam. So where am I now? 30 minute drills. Right? So you just do those 30 second fast drills. But guess what? You're done for the day. Mm -hmm. And what you've basically done is, Jessica, you set up your metabolism. And that's what happens with most of us. We let our metabolism fall asleep. And no matter what you do, <laughs> it's it doesn't change. But if you turn that metabolism on, Okay, sometimes you might be bad because that's usually where most people don't like the last category. I'm talking about that's, I moved to a 70% plant-based based protein diet. Okay, mm -hmm. now for those who don't know the difference um, between plant-based protein and all vegetables, uh, the ones that use a gassy, <laughs> okay, that's how you can remember uh, a lot of them. Uh, uh, you've got the asparagus. Yeah, uh, you got the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 got the squash. You got the sweet potatoes. Those that are it's easy on the body and it'll keep you younger at the cellular level. Mm -hmm. Because for me personally, the target is keep your body at the youngest cellular level you can. So my target is to try to keep my cellular level body. 35 years old, right? So, you know, so your, your uh, A1C numbers for diabetics and cholesterol, right? And things like that. You want to keep all those numbers as high and as healthy as you can in your sugars mm -hmm. so that, okay, you know, you're 90, you have a bad week, <laughs> you know, you might hit your head on a trash can or, you know, something like that. And you go. But you went pretty healthy. You just had a bad week. So that's the target to reach 10.0. Exercise, intense exercise. 
Rest, huge. Keep the inflammations out your body. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the newer things, since if you're not an athlete, the CBDs, keep the inflammation down. Sugars, raise the inflammation. Okay. The alcohol raises, really raises <laughs> the inflammation. And you know, that, that thing about wine, it's still alcohol. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. like, well, you're right. Everybody goes, well, I have two glasses of wine, you know, today. It's still sugar. <laughs> it's, yes. it's still a lot of sugar, right? And then the salts, because those are typically the big enemies, uh, especially of brown and black, with the blood pressure. And, yes. and then once you get the plant-based protein going, next thing you know, your blood pressure will go below average. You know, instead of 120 over 80, now you can start tipping, you know, way down to 115. On 12. Mr. Savage, what advice would you give to any seniors who are recovering from any injuries right now? Sure, as a senior, you or your family, treat yourself that you want to come back 110%, not 50% where you can walk and go to your mailbox, where you can, no, I won't say jump off the step, but you can sprint to the mailbox, grab the mail, and sprint back in. And that's the level of health care, because it now should be precision health care medicine, not, you know, your standard, crank it out. Okay, we've, we've replaced two knees, we've replaced two hips. Okay, they can walk out of the bed. That's usually this thing, 25 steps. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you can take up a step. When you, my mother, we, we met, we, Especially since you have a son that's a performance trainer too. I said, oh, it's on. <laughs> she she couldn't stand me or her son. And we're cracking up, taking film as we're, you know, taking cranking on the leg. And my mother cusses like a sailor. Um, so we're steady doing it. She's like, oh, you know, but she knew deep down she wanted to get back to 100%. So I don't care whether it's the athletes are trained or whether it's a senior or whatever your audience is be aware own it show up and press it to excellence be the best version of yourself get that picture so that you build a team around you that makes sure you're pressing to the best version that you want to be you know so where's my mother now oh you know 81 years old cutting the grass <laughs> trimming the bushes that's her workout you know cutting the lawn trimming the grass and and that's a lot of seniors do so don't necessarily get caught as well in it has to be gym oriented olympic training exercises keep it safe but if you can come up with occupational therapy things for example before when i actually did have grass I did a speed cut. I would use the push mower, you know, to actually get my work in. You know, it's, I don't recommend it for everybody because if you trip and fall, it's not a good outcome, right? But typically, I was done cutting the lawn in 15 minutes, you know. Uh, and that way, you know, you're getting what you need to get bigger, stronger, faster, and use your energy system. So still go for the walk. That's your aerobic work. Then you have what you call your know, lactic anaerobic work. That's the fast. Get your heart rate, get your metabolism going. And then just rotate and then rest. That's the other thing we don't do. Rest. You got to get your rest. Whether you're an athlete or that senior, you still got to get the rest. So all those things mend and repair themselves so you can do it again. Think big, do small. Think big, do small. Right. Mr. Savage, what suggestions do you have for seniors who may be intimidated by technology? What's going to go on at Community Partners of South Florida? Uh, I'm building a team. Uh, and right now, at the higher level, so we're going both directions. And this is how you have to address inclusion. You can't just come up from the bottom and start grassroots programs. And you can't start from the top with just strategies, or else they never come down. So I'm building a team that is gonna help the senior 
you know, okay, I can't log in and get to my healthcare records. Hey, I want to do that yoga exercise this morning. You know, I had that uh, challenge with my mother-in-law and my mother. We couldn't do Kwanzaa. You know, we're trying to get my mother on the phone. She can't get on the phone and she can't get on the computer. Right. Yeah. And we're like, well, we got to check this later because we got to make sure that they have access. And that's one thing. Um, so in order to do that, the intimidation, now it's the mindset, all my fellow seniors out there, you've got to have a different mindset about technology. Technology is not owned by the Gen Z. Uh, it's not owned by the millennial. You know, they know how to consume it. It's kind of like a car, right? One, uh, you know, the cars that the boomers, the, the, uh, I say boomers and up own, you actually had to fix them. You might have to fix them, right? After that, you might have to put a microchip or something in a car, right? Well, technology basically shortens your day. It, it, it allows for you to do and progress and be more efficient with things you're doing, you know? So whether it's this Apple Watch, checking my blood pressure, heart rate, you know, or whether or not I can get four things done in this virtual world, we all find out now in the new normal, right? You don't necessarily need to go in to the office, you know, you just, you got two hours of work done. For a senior, that's more quality time. So sometimes the technology can give you that virtual experience with your grandchildren. Um, so first change the mindset. Now, as far as technology, as it relates to fitness, uh, working with Jennifer uh, and you and the, and the Silver team, Silver Fox team, basically come up with that virtual solution. So you start getting the tribe members together but not necessarily having them together, you know? So it's, it might be safe, just like we're, you know, interviewing at the same time, you can have a virtual walkathon, you can have a virtual running event. You can, you know, we have it with track and field. You can do all those things, but put the people together. And, but the first step has to be, don't be intimidated by it. Then if you are intimidated about our group, um, on my nonprofit side, uh, Community Partners of South Florida, we will have uh, a team to say, hey, look, we, we got that, you know, what, what's the problem? Let's go ahead and get you set up right. Let's use the minimum amount of steps to do it, you know? I mean, you know, they don't want to know about whether they get a Microsoft Office package for free. They want one link, <laughs> press the button, <laughs> right? I know how my mother is. I know how my mother-in-law is. Hey, I want to talk to my doctor. <laughs> That's it. My knee hurts from that stupid workout she gave me. You know, something <laughs> like that, right? And you're like, okay, mom. All right, here's the link. Shoom, boom, there it is. Hey, hey, how you doing, Gladys? Her name's Gladys. And next thing you know, she's talking to him. Same thing, we dealt with it personally. My wife, uh, we lost my father-in-law and you know, this wasn't from a workout standpoint, this was monitoring after a stroke. Well, we wanted to make sure we had Facebook portal set up. There's a lot of technology that fits. And that's the other thing, just like with a suit or a jacket, get the right technology that fits you. Don't just grab technology. So in the case, in that case, the Facebook portal worked out well because the uh, seniors like being on Facebook. Millennials and Gen Zs don't, except for their... <laughs> right? Their grandparents and great grandparents. <laughs> yes. It's not cool, right? It's not cool. Uh, Instagram, not so much, right? Uh, that's the millennials and Gen Zs. So what you want to do is find a solution that works. Like what I do, I train on the profit side virtually where I'm in a studio and keep the seniors safe there on the screens, which is what a lot of professionals do where they, even when I had to train the NFL guys, we were isolated 20 meters apart, you know, because that's the other thing. Uh, and, and something I learned from training warriors, you know, veterans and soldiers, slow and smooth, 
smooth is fast. So from an educational standpoint, go slow first until you can go through those steps smoothly, whether it's the training exercise or whether it's how you get to it virtually. Yes. Next thing you know, you go through those four or five steps, bam, there it is all the time. And now you know how to do it. And now you get to your exercise, same thing again. You don't have to do it, you know, uh, for 25 minutes. It'll slow and smooth. Then as you learn what to do with the exercise, pick up the pace. Yes, slow and steady. Don't rush it. So where does the senior of today fit in the big picture of the new normal that we're at right now? Right, right. Great question. Great question. Um, they're essential. You know, I mean, really, things haven't changed. With all this new normal and the hits that the silent generation, the great generation, the boomer generation is taking, uh, they're still resilient. And they still are our leaders. They still have the, the tools and the wisdom to tell us what's next. So where it's very big for us is to understand as those seniors now is, we have to be here. We have to be here. We have to keep it stable because family wealth is health, you know, especially with brown, black, and those who are middle class and down who aren't. So we're gone too soon. I mean, I have lost 30 um, to one of the big four, you know, or five, including COVID. And then you have another 20 or 30 that, you know, you lose to um, de death from other causes. But for the most part, we have to be there to build the legacy for generations to come. We're still needed because until this new normal incident occurred, you didn't, most didn't have something to judge it on except for World War II, you know, Vietnam, the riots. And we're the ones from that silver group that witnessed those things to say, think big, do small this too shall pass, you know, but stink big, do small, put on the mask, <laughs> put on the gloves, put on the, I'm that guy, I've got the, <laughs> I've got the mask on, face I've, got the, I've got the face shield on, I've got gloves on, <laughs> you know, and I got a hat on. I might have a chase on too, right? <laughs> but the bottom line, what is it to me? Think big, do small. It's nothing but a football uniform to me. Right? Put it on. <laughs> Only thing I'm not catching the pass. <laughs> then get home, you take it off. So really, that's it, is that to really focus on uh, driving to lead the charge to the four pillars. You know, that's the whole thing about inclusion and equity. We've been stuck on inclusion and equity for a long time. I don't care whether I was on the football field and you got a grandmother poking you in the ribs, uh, dropping names on you, or whether it's in the corporate environment where there's glass ceilings and no movement. It is now time to move forward with access led by the silver charge to the, the pillars. Health, wellness, housing, and education that leads to entrepreneurialism. They need it. They're critical. Mr. Savage, thank you so much for yes. sitting down and having this interview with us. Um, I appreciate you. We appreciate you at Silver Fox Elite Fitness for being a part of this virtual fitness fair. It's going to be amazing. And thank you again very much for your participation. Thanks for having me, Jessica. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the first portion of our question and answer segment. We will be back periodically throughout the live broadcast. If you're interested in watching the full length interview with Mr. Nicholas Savage, please go to our YouTube at Silver Fox Elite Fitness. Thank you.